Hello everyone. James the My Scalper is the card that everyone in the MTG community is talking about. We have to remember that James the My Scalper has been recently unbanned and therefore it can be played again in modern. This unban has sparked a lot of criticism and a lot of enthusiasts because JZ Mine Scalper is the most powerful Planeswalker card ever created. It had already once braked modern, featuring in every blue deck and in every other deck. So let's see why JZ Mine Scalper is so powerful and why everyone is mad about buying this card. First of all, JZ Mine Scalper comes in play with three loyalty counters uh, plus two you look at the top card of target player's library you may put that card in the bottom of that player's library zero you draw three cards then put two cards from your hand on your library in any order return target creature to its owner hand and then its ultimate exile all cards from target player's library then that player shoves his or her hand into her library is so powerful that it can end the game in a couple of turns. Players are going mad about this card and they are buying every possible card that exists in the market. So we have to remember that currently there are two J's printed. J first J's, it was a mythic rare from Weldwick, and the other J's from the Eternal Master sets. There is another one from the Vaults and there is another one that's a premium card which are very rare to find and therefore they are not targeted by buyers to, to be played. Therefore these two cards are the only two cards that players are targeting to buy and play in their decks. The price of J's Demise card the price currently sets at 142 I believe that the price will continue to rise going to $150 because of the scarcity of the card. Jay's Demon Sculptor it's quite scarce. Remember it's Mythic Rare and was printed only in Wake and Eternal Masters and therefore after the ban we see that the price has spiked to $143. If we see the lifetime of Jace, Jace Demise Scalper was always at its high when it was released in World Wake. It dropped a little bit and then it spiked again. We see a downfall of Jace Demise Scalper in the price. This is the World Wake version and this is the reason because it was banned. Therefore, it was not usable in modern and we see a downturn of the price. Then all, all of a sudden the announcement of the unban and therefore the price spiked again to its highest. I think this was easily predicted that with the unban the price would surely rise again. We have to consider also something else that Jay's Demise Sculpture will be reprinted in Modern Masters 25. Therefore, there will be another Jay's, another card with mass printing, and therefore, probably the price of Jay's will go down. It will be released with Masters 25 in a month's time. And therefore, you have to consider one thing, that the price of the card will go down. Why Wizard of the Coast and Ben Jace? They said that Modern has been balanced with very powerful creatures. And therefore, it was time to unban and release Jace again. I believe that this stun, it's a publicity stun, so that they can sell as much as possible Masters 25. Remember, Wizard of the Ghost are coming from a big 
dip from Iconic Masters, I must, Iconic Masters was a disaster, they, the sales were dropped, now you can buy boxes at 140, 130 dollars, 120 euros, and therefore they need to do and to get there as much money as possible from Masters 25. Therefore, I believe that one of the major point in the decision of unbanning James was not to balance master, mas, modern masters, but was to sell as much as possible masters 25. This is a well played publicity stunt from Wizard of the Coast and this will need to caution certain players. Remember Jace it is at its high now at $150 a card, Foils goes even at $500 a card, I don't recommend to buy Foils at that prices, I recommend you to save your money, put your money in the piggy banks, because I believe that eventually Jace the Mice will go under the Ben Hammer again. When Modern will be played again with Jace the Mind Scalper, and Jace the Mind Scalper will be in every top 8, top tier deck in the Pro Tours of Modern, Jace the Mind Scalper will go again under the Ben Hammer. This will not happen in the near future, this will happen in a 1-2 years time, but Jace the Mind Scalper will sure go under the Ben Hammer. This is my prediction, this is my advice, don't buy Jace the Mind Scalper at $150, buy Jace the Mind Scalper if you want to buy Jace the Mind Scalper from Masters 25, where prices will be a little bit lower, I will predict something around $80 to $90, it's much better than the $150 currently, and be aware that Jace the Mind Scalper will be again under the Ben Hammer. It is so powerful that it is very difficult that the card will not make it in the top 8 of Modern and therefore it will feature more and more and with every tournament and therefore Wizard of the Ghost will have no other option than to unban, to ban Jace the Mind Sculper. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about Jace the Mind Sculper being unbanned in Modern? Do you think that eventually will be banned again? And stay tuned to my channel for more interesting video and analysis of Magic Ticketing. Thank you very much.